uh, was it easy to get in contact with him? I mean, because he was revealing a lot of uh, kind of sadness inside of himself, and he said that he felt like he was not a uh, success as a human being. Uh, I mean, this must be very difficult to to say in front of a camera. How do you how do you make him you know, say these kind of things? Uh, well. Uh, you know, I I, I pro approached him actually like I approached all my characters. You know, if somebody is a gun runner or somebody goes after dictators, or um, I think I I'm I'm always very interested in human beings, and and um, you know I I think I my interest is very um, sincere in a way, um, and I think that. He felt that, and I think he was also in a period of his life, you know, his father died, and I think he was a little bit reflecting on his own life, and um, and probably, you know, he was not used um, to have somebody around who was really interested in him, because he always thought, you know, people are only interested in me because of my work, and not... He once said that actually, that was one of the things that he said during a film festival where we both had a film. And he once said to me, people are not interested um, in, in who I am, but they are interested because of what I do. And I thought, that's interesting, you know, who's the guy? Who, who is he while he doesn't work? Um, so I think uh, he felt probably at ease, I hope, with me, and that was how he could open up. But I also think it was a period in his life where he was ready to, you know, reflect on things. So I think I, I was just, you know, the right moment. Um, yeah. I felt also that he was kind of, you know, opening up and then he was closing immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. because then when he says something, he just walks away. So, but that says even more than saying the things that you're saying. Um, yeah. Uh, did he not have a lot of opinions on what to put in the film or the visual of the film? Yeah, yeah. He had. He he completely let me do whatever I wanted to do. But the only thing where he really was on top of everything were his photos, almost like his children. You know, like. I, this has to be the different one, and you know, and he wanted to say something about um, the combination of the photos in one section, and I and I was okay with it as long as I thought it it, it made sense. Um, I thought it was fine, but other than that, he didn't have any any comments about. Well, maybe he had, but he didn't stop me from you know, having the freedom of doing whatever I wanted to do in the film. What was his opinion afterwards? Did he feel that uh, his um, way of being was shown in the film? Or how, how did he feel afterwards? When he saw it? Well, it's a very funny thing because the first time he saw it and also the second time during the premiere in the Netherlands, he said, it's, it's a beautiful piece of work. So I think that was a compliment. <laughs> and um, but I think he um, um, he always said, but, but it's your interpretation of you. You wanted to make me a loner, and uh, you made me into a loner. Um, but you know, this was very much what I saw during these years that I followed him. And but it's very funny because. Um, you know, everybody who really uh, knows him well and, and or knew him for the last 20 years, they all came up to me and said, this is so Anton, you know, this is completely who he is. It's incredible that you got that. So, you know, spot on. But then he, he actually now has a, a girlfriend these days and... Um, and she didn't recognize him at all. Like, uh, you know, she's a completely different person. I don't know that guy. So I think maybe he changed very much after the film. And, you know, maybe he's a different person now. But this was definitely the person I, I met. And, uh, and I tried to be very sincere uh, in portraying that person. One comment you asked earlier, what do we see in the film? 
and there was this word uh, silence coming up earlier and and uh, I see a lot of silence in his character and in his work but also a lot, a lot of melancholia and I think there was one sentence he was saying during the film that he identifies something of himself in melancholia or he somehow works with this idea of negative feeling yeah. states. And uh, I'm not Swedish, uh, so I can't say what Swedish people say in the film. I'm from Finland. And we are very home um, at the feeling of melancholia and, and silence. And I can totally relate to his character and to his work from my national background. Just, just but comment. you are Swedish or not? Finnish. I'm Finnish. I'm oh, Finland. Okay. I'm not Swedish. But I just like the way how he actually uses silence and melancholia as some energy in his work. That's yeah. somehow the, the stamp, the driving force. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting that you're saying that because um, I don't know. Well, what about the Swedish people? Because there was actually one um, review after it premiered at the Berlin Film Festival, and that was a big, big compliment. But somebody wrote, it's very much, it's almost like an Ingmar Bergman um, inspired film. And Ingmar Bergman was also a son of a preacher, I think. Um, that was written in that article. Uh, but I'm very 